Education is a huge part of my life. It always has been. After my undergrad, I 100% plan on going to graduate school. My mother didn't know much about college, you know, being first generation. So um, I had to push myself to go to college. It actually wasn't possible for me to come here unless I got a certain amount of scholarships and Community Foundation was actually um, the biggest grant that I got. There was a little things that really made a difference, you know, with like big brothers and big sisters or the Community Foundation. Someday I hope I'm in a comfortable enough position to where I can give out grants and scholarships. When you're working on a farm with kids, they're not only learning farming skills, but they're also learning about life skills. Look in the garden, you see a Most of the kids that are coming from Springfield have never been on a farm before. They haven't been in contact with animals or with vegetables from the garden. One of the things they've been told since the beginning is keep an open mind. Try new foods, ask questions, and you can see that the kids are really learning from them. Kids that typically have a hard time at school with the structure and sort of following all of those rules and routines come here and we see a completely different side of them. It's really challenging for them to try all these new things at once. And so when they hopefully meet other challenges in their life, uh, they'll reference back to their time here on the farm and they'll be able to use that to empower them to make really good, strong choices going forward. One of the main goals of the Community Meals Program is to not only provide food, but to provide company. We serve anywhere between 50 to 70 people. It's usually families. It's just a social climate where people feel like they are respected and they are wanted and they're not being judged. Jessica's Balance Playground was built with the idea of inclusivity. I think the thing that I'm the most proud of, not only is it named in honor of my daughter Jessica, but how the community came together with this project. One, two, three! Woo! This playground will not limit anybody. While there's some things that some children can't do, they're up there at the top with the other kids. I guess I'm in awe of what it has done for this community. It represents who we need to be, honoring each other, accepting differences. It's just joyful. The Community Foundation grant was the first grant we received for this project. The prison project has had a, an enormous impact. It's given them confidence that they didn't think they'd ever have. It's to get in front of people and actually be accepted on a scale that's fairly large. All you got to do now. There's a real two-way street between the prisoners and the course. It's not just that this is some kind of worthy project where we're helping the prisoners. It's a project where a group of people are making art together, and it's such good music. I love seeing the Mount Holyoke Range. It's gorgeous and big and beautiful, and it just lets me know that I'm in the valley. I think one of the reasons I've made it a tradition to hike the Holyoke Range for my birthday is it's just a great place to hike and reflect. It's just something I've done for the last probably 35 years. My family's been here for many generations, and from the top of the mountain, you can look and see our home, and that means everything to us. 